Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. We are St. Louis. This is St. Louis Cardinals baseball and Cardinals baseball is presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. The San Francisco Giants have taken the first two of this four game series. It sets the stage for game number three tonight. It's the Cardinals and Giants from AT&T Park. Jim Hayes is here. That's Tim McCarver. I'm Dan McLaughlin. Welcome to St. Louis Cardinals baseball. Jeff Samarja gets the call for the Giants and a former Giant and red now with the Cardinals Mike Leake gets the start at this ballpark tonight. Well uh, you're not going to believe how good Mike Leake has been in this ballpark but we're going to tell you six and one for his career here at AT&T Park. He also has his only career shutout that was against the Dodgers after the Dodgers clinched and the Giants were eliminated from postseason last year but Mike Leake pitching very very well better in this park than any park. All right, looking forward to it. Game number three here tonight. Mike Leake, Jeff Samarja. Last time we saw Samarja, four home runs hit against him in St. Louis. It's the Giants, the Cardinals, coming up in game three. Is brought to you by Michelob Ultra, brewed for those who go the extra mile. By Chevrolet, visit your local Mid America Chevy dealer for great prices on the all new 2016 Malibu. And by Menards, save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. Ball game tonight of Cardinals baseball is being broadcast on AFN the American Forces Network broadcasting to the U.S. Armed Forces serving around the world on land and on ships at sea. 
Jim Hayes, Tim McCarver, Dan McLaughlin from you. One of the most beautiful settings in professional sports. AT&T Park in San Francisco. It is 62 degrees. And you see that cutout of the sun in center field. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Matter of fact, it'll only affect a giant outfield here in the first inning. And the Cardinals hope it affects them because that means they'll hit it a ton to center field. Matt Carpenter leads it off, followed by Diaz and then Moss, Piscotti, Adams, Molina, Gritchick, Wong, and the pitcher batting ninth, Mike Leak. Jeff Samarja gets the call tonight. First year of a five year deal that he signed with the San Francisco Giants. You know, in many ways, we talk about how the Cardinals, and you get a look at the numbers here on Samarja, rely on the home run ball. They also rely a lot on Carpenter getting things going, and Matt is 11 for his last 55. But he really sets the tone for this team. No question about it. Either a walk, a base hit, how many times he gets on as the leadoff hitter for this team. And that is his spot. He loves to hit in the number one hole. 1-1 one, one is fouled back. Samarja lost to the Padres in his last start. He allowed four runs on eight hits, six innings of work, and that was a 4-0 loss. But pitching well overall in his last seven, ERA is under three. You said it because when Samarja signed originally, he was a thrower, not a pitcher. And like most pitchers, I mean, Jeff Samarja's father, Sam, who's a plant supervisor in Valparaiso, Indiana, told him if he's going into baseball, you've got to be a pitcher. Your stuff is not dominant enough for you not to work on the outside part, the inside part, which is the case with most pitchers. Here's a 2 2 pitch to Carpenter. Ripped into right field for a base hit. Matt is now 9 for 18 this season against the Giants. Around the horn is presented by Dobbs. Angel Pagan in left, Denard Spann in center, Hunter Pence is in right field. Nunez, Crawford, Panic, and Belt on the infield, and Buster Posey is behind the plate. Cardinals in the first two games of this series just 12 hits and a 185 average against Giants pitching. Well you said it best I think last night Tim that you know if you're Mike Matheny if it's May June July yeah you, you look at a player and you try to get a day here or there but you got to push now. Yeah. Diaz has to be in there every day. That's exactly right. Let me sign the year hitting 309 15 home runs 59 RBIs in his first season an all star campaign for St. Louis. Matt Carpenter was the selection for the Cardinals. He couldn't play Diaz taking a spot. One one pitch. Tapped foul. The time to get Samarja is first time through the lineup. The average against him this year is 292. And then after that, he settles in. That's one of the more understandable statistics. A lot of times, pitchers aren't loose. Every time's different out there, different mound. First time through the lineup, they're looking at you. Slight advantage for the offense. One two pitch double play ball hit to short Crawford to second to turn just like last night in the first inning a double play off the bat of Diaz and both balls were laced things are not going the Cardinals way that's an understatement last night it was a five four three double play into which Diaz hit and tonight scalded toward Crawford couldn't field it cleanly but cleanly enough to turn the double play. Brings in Brandon Moss, who is four for his last 58. Well, you told me that before the game. Man, that is staggering. It sure is. And batting third right. in a must-win situation. 
Last check, the Mets midway through their game. They were trailing Minnesota 1 0. We'll keep an eye on that. Here's a 1 0 pitch. So last 15 games in 059 average with 20 strikeouts. One of those four hits that he did have was a home run this past week. Wound up being a game winning home run and RBIs for the Cardinals as he lifts a high fly ball into deep left center field. It is gone. Home run Brandon Moss and that's what he can do. The team high. 27 home runs off the bat of Moss. Well, we said that, that the Cardinal hitters hope to flirt with that sun in deep center field. Well, Brandon Moss did just that. Got ahead in the count. Fastball up and away. So Brandon Moss with home run number 27 on the year. It's as happy as that uh, dugout has looked in these three games for obvious reasons. The ball has been thrown back in by the crowd. So home run number 27 on a 2 0 pitch. First time the Cardinals have been ahead in this series. Yahoo is right. <laughs> home runs in issue two for Samarja. That's now 19 home runs in his last 19 starts, 24 total, which is his, the top 10 of the National League. Used to be a saying, Dan, that pitchers can afford to fall behind the little guys but you fall behind the big guys and they choose one they can hammer it and that's what Moss did 102 Piscotti we noticed before the game the wind is whipping with the earlier start the sun is still out as you mentioned so the ball will carry a little bit better at this start time but it is whipping out there. So that's now five home runs the Cardinals have hit off of Jeff Samarja. This is back on the 4th of June. Moss, Diaz, Piscotti. One more for good measure. Matt Adams. And Adams is at the on deck circle. Here's a 1 2. I'm surprised that Buster Posey came inside to Piscotti because clearly the Giants have been pitching Piscotti with that slider away often off the plate away and Steven has bitten the first two games we'll see where Samarja goes away it's the ground ball hit to short Crawford makes the play home run number 27 off the bat of Brandon Moss he's now driven in 64 and one swing here in the first inning gives the Cardinals an early lead. By Brandon Moss leads the club in home runs 
Then Jericho at 26, Grichik 22, and Piscotti 21. You look at that list and you consider the fact that the Giants' top home run hitters, Brandon Belt, who has 15. Right. <laughs> Pagan, Panic, and Posey, then Pence, Belt, Crawford, Nunez, Span, and Samarja. Numbers on Mike Leak. Lost to the Cubs in his last start. He allowed four runs, three earned in six innings. An eventual 4-1 loss to Chicago. There's some guys in this lineup that have pretty good numbers against Mike Leak. Including Pagan, six for 13, two doubles and a home run. Well, the one thing that favors Mike in this ballpark, he doesn't walk a lot of guys. Only 27 walks. In 162 innings this year. Keeps the ball in play. Mike finished up last year with these Giants. Came over from Cincinnati for Adam Duvall, the big power hitter. Went two and five as he dealt with a sore hamstring for the better part of that second half of the season. Out to Moss, and there's one away. Cardinals defensively with Moss, Gritchick, Piscotti. Around the horn is presented by Dobbs. Carpenter, Diaz, Wong, and Adams. And Yadier Molina is behind the plate. You think about it, Tim, as you get a look at Joe Panic after David Price and Zach Greinke, Johnny Cueto. Once they all signed, it was Samarja and Leak were that, uh, that next rung, if you will. Right. And Samarja got five years, 90 million. Leak five years, 80 million from the Cardinals. And both pitching for teams that play in big ballparks, the Cardinals and the Giants. Back to Leak as he flips it over to Adams for the out. That's another thing. He becomes the eighth fielder better than any other pitcher in the major leagues. 62 chances. That leads all pitchers. He can flat out feel his position. Let's turn to Tim McCarver's Toyota key to the game. Well, the time is now. Is it ever? <laughs> no more shuffling. 15 games left. Cardinals got some doing to do. Posey, big series so far. Seven for nine. He's driven in four. He has scored three in the two games against the Cardinals. Taps it out in front of the plate. Leak, bare hands, and throws. And a 1 2 3 inning for Mike Leak. 1 0 after 1 here from ATT Park.
Done when the Cardinals score six, any size drink is just 50 cents the next day. That's coffee, fountain, frozen drinks. When they score, you pour it. Your nearest on the run, you earned it. First year in this ballpark, the fans here in San Francisco started paying attention to McCovey Cove. Yeah. And they've, they've loved it ever since. That is the parking spot for a lot of prodigious home runs over the years. Mostly by Barry Bonds. The kayakers come in. Yeah. This being now a weekend, you're seeing some of the the boaters out there as Adams fouls it back. It, it used to be that a comedian by the name of Don Novello, who was Father Guido Sarducci, <laughs> if you remember, yeah. one of the funniest guys in the world. He actually bred webbed footed dogs. Where are you going with this? And no, it's a, it, it is a fact. And and they uh, he bred web footed dogs. And in that kayak, he patrolled McCovey Cove and 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 got balls that were hit there. There is weren't many. Right? Yeah, that's a fact. Wow. He lives. He's from San Rafael, which is about 60 miles from here. Maybe not that far. But it's a fascinating story, and I don't know whatever happened to Don. Number one, I loved his Guido Sarducci, it's the funniest thing in the world, who always used to smoke, smoke, yeah. smoke with the, had that big sombrero on. <laughs> Hilarious. On Johnny Carson all the time. Here's huge, a one, too. Huge baseball fan, too. Whew. Matt Adams got away with one there. Chevy Fox tracks, take a look. Two balls and two strikes. Big gap in right center field. Adams just got a piece. Dan, to, to wrap that story up, you might think, well, why web footed do uh, dogs? Because they could swim. swim. Yeah. They could swim so well. I, I'm not sure what the breed is, but it's uh, fascinating creatures. Bonds was here. They'd be hundreds of folks out there oh, in McCovey yeah. Cove. Yeah. It's incredible. The 2-2. Well, the Cardinals looking to avoid losing in their fourth game in a row. Be the first time that would happen. Season I five game losing skid since mid June. And if you're wondering, there have been 71 splash hits in McCovey Cove. A little over half of them by Barry Bonds. So brings in Yadier Molina. He is 10 for 22 off of Jeff Samarja. And two RBIs last night, a base hit, and also a walk with the bases loaded. Good at bat by Matt Adams, falling behind in the count, coaxing a walk. Molina hits it softly towards third and out at second base. Good play by Panic. Well, I'll say that's that in between hop. Tough play. Nunez should have taken his time probably and made sure of one, but by bouncing it the way he did, it was not a sure out at second base. But Panic made the play. Panic, a former first round pick in 2011 by the Giants. Sometimes the second baseman, because a ball sits so slowly, has to react like a first baseman would. And that's what Panic did. Cardinals taking a look at it, hmm. thinking that Panic and seeing that replay was the foot on the base. Did it stay on the bag? And the Cardinals will not challenge. Very close. And did he have control? Good point. First pitch to Gritchick. You know, technically, Dan, you cannot have control while your foot is on the bag and then have control when your foot is off the bag. That's not considered an out by umpires. Double play ball. 
Crawford, panic. On to first and Brandon Bell. The second 6-4-3 double play turned by the Giants tonight. Sometimes first baseman Matt Holliday. We are wondering if and when he will come back. More on that. Let's check with, uh, check in with Jim. Still up in the air. Holliday was expecting to face pitching from one of his teammates today. The live BP, sort of the final hurdle for Holliday before he can make his way back to the Cardinals. It didn't happen. Mike Matheny tell me Holliday's surgically repaired thumb became swollen after Matt took his regular BP yesterday. Matheny says whether Holliday can get to that next step is now a day to day proposition as Mike put it when you're talking about something surgically repaired you never have the exact template of how it's going to look bringing everything back together Dan in other words he'll continue to evaluate holidays thumb hoping it improves to the point where he can face live pitching all right Jim running out of time though after tonight 14 games remain I think a good example of, of trying to swing the bat dealing with that sore hand or thumb would be watching Johnny Peralta here in the second half. I think that's an excellent comparison. He's just not quite the same. No. no. Nope. Jim was talking about batting practice. This is the uh, third consecutive day that uh, the Giants have canceled BP. Bruce Bochy told the players do not arrive here at the ballpark until four o'clock this afternoon. Sometimes it's a great ploy. And it's used by a manager who really knows his team. Just, it's like winter ball. Just suit up and play. Loosen up. Little jogging and go get them. Pence is riding a 10 game hit streak. Good numbers against Mike Leak. And a two run homer off of Adam Wainwright in game one and lines it into center field. It's now 11 games for Hunter Pence. That was a 2 2 changeup to Pence. The thing about a changeup and why it's such a delicate pitch for right handed pitchers to right handed hitters is it can remain in the middle of the plate. The one thing the slider can do, it can dive outside and serve as the. It looks like a strike, but isn't. The changeup looks like a strike and is. So Pence hitting about 470 during this streak, and that's lifted into deep right center field off the bat of Belt. Gritcher can't get there. Pence will come around and score, and it ties the game at one. That's now nine RBIs in the last nine games for Brandon Belt.
First ball swinging that little sinker down and over the plate. I mean Mike Leake's got to be so fine on the corner because he's not a hard thrower rarely reaches 91 92 relies totally on control more than any other Cardinal pitcher. Hey you look at that pitch and you say not a bad pitch but when you don't throw as hard as some of the others you don't get away with it. Well, fat part of the plate. Here's Crawford he has good numbers against Leak. seven for twenty two and a couple of home runs. Leak against San Francisco five and three and nine career starts. Despite an ERA that's near six. And as we head towards the stretch here in the final couple of weeks Mike in his last six starts Cardinals have lost four of those and he has just one win. Still coming back from shingles too. Yep. One ball one strike. It is a wretched disease, isn't it? Watching Tony La Russa go through that oh, a few years ago was, was I rem tough. Remember you telling me that. Here's a look at the uh, splash cam here at AT&T Park. <laughs> what a shot. Three one pitch and a ground ball that's hit to the right side Colton Wong makes the play advancing belt to third. You know what you think about it that might be the only offensive unselfish play in the game because a hitter does not get credit for that. And with every other swing of the bat, either making contact or not, you're either credited with it or it's a deficit on your personal achievement. It's a selfish game. Yeah, it is. It's supposed ways. to be selfish. Infield is drawn in, and that's swung on and missed. That's why that, that quote, I just want to give my, uh, my team a chance to win. That should be eliminated, <laughs> and players should be fined thousands of dollars if they thousands, make that count. Huh? Thousands. Maybe even suspended if they say it really? again. Yeah. Second time is a 50 game suspension is what you're telling me. No not not quite that hard. Maybe two or three games. Well, you're going to do it. Just docked, go for it. Docked and pay. Just want to give my team a chance to win. <laughs> Believe me. Makes you want to regurgitate. <laughs> it swung on and missed. And there's two strikes on Eduardo Nunez. Well, I mean, wouldn't it be so much fun to hear a guy say, you know what I want to do? Put up massive numbers. <laughs> massive. Because you know that's what he wants to do. Of course. I want to be remembered as a guy who put up massive numbers. <laughs> and I'd also like to get the highest contract I possibly can. <laughs> of course. Can. Make all the money I can. <laughs> Brown ball. Wong keeps it in front. No play. First and third and nobody out. I think it's going to be an error on Colton Wong. Sometimes he gets penalized for his range. But on that one coming in on the ball and when it uh, hit the middle of the glove too much of the heel of the glove and went too far away from it. The problem now is you've got a great bunter up there. In a, in a safety squeeze situation, we'll see what Bruce Bochy's going to do here. So an error on Colton Wong, his seventh, and now it's Span, who is four for his last 46. So even more the reason why you made bunt here. Mm -hmm. Diving play. It's a double play. Matt Adams, a tremendous defensive stop. He takes the hit away the RBI 
And the Cardinals get out of the inning with only one run scored against them. How many times do you get a two-fold double play? One out with a catch and then scrambling back to tag first. Great play. is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right stuff, low price every day. And by your local Volkswagen dealer. Statue of Willie McCovey. The wall in right field is 24 feet high to honor Willie Mays. And then you have McCovey Cove. Here's Colton Wong and the first pitch taken for a ball. Cardinals hoping and Mike Matheny hopeful that that play by Matt Adams what a play to end the second inning. Just superb. Mike is not one that likes to have team meetings. They have one at the beginning of spring training. As Wong pulls it foul more of an introductory meeting for a lot of the players to learn about the staff and those that are around the ball club. But today they had a meeting, and here's that uh, double play. It was about 10 minutes. More of just, hey, we got 15 games to go. Let's get this thing going. Here's a 1 1. You know, baseball is such. A long grind and I understand it from a fan's perspective when a team struggles in the middle of the summer you know a fan will say well, you need to have a meeting you need to get this going you got to do this you got to do that mm -hmm. players don't think that way no no they don't you're right players think it's another game and tomorrow's another day depends on what's said in the meeting and who it's says it. it yeah. Two two pitch little tapper slowly hit to the right side he may beat this out base hit Colt Wong ball off the end of the bat and once it got by Samarja no way to get Wong bunning situation for Mike Leak. but think about the meeting that Hunter Pence had during the World Series for the San Francisco Giants back about four years ago I think it was 2012 I'm not sure. But he said I do not want to go home I've come too far. This is my first World Series I don't want to go home. And it was so real and guys responded to it something like that that's not planned 
makes more sense than a, than something that is planned and, and held in the confines of the clubhouse. More times than not, needs to come from an everyday player, a right. veteran. That's right. Leak squared and pulled back. Ball one. Samarja, for those that may have forgotten, wide receiver at Notre Dame, was a great athlete, would have been a first round pick in the NFL draft. And you told the story about his dad. He actually got with his brother. They went to a room. They put up pros and cons of the NFL or Major League Baseball. Baseball won out, and here he is, 90 million plus later, pitching for the Giants. That's guaranteed money, too. You bet. And in you. the NFL, it wouldn't be. <laughs> no, sir. And in the NFL, much more chance of an injury. The name Samarja is Serbian. His grandparents immigrated from Europe in the 1940s. He can't speak Serbian, but understands a little from his grandmother. Leak again on 2 and 0. Oh. Drops down the bunt. Belt thought about going to second. He'll get the shore out covering it first. Joe Panic. And the sacrifice is the second this year. Only two sacrifices for Mike Leak this season. Well, next time you want to grab seats, get the StubHub app. Not only will you find seats you'll love whenever you want, you can find the best seat for your buck when you sort by the best value. So get the StubHub app today. Brings in Carpenter. And speaking of meetings, Dan, Buster Posey out to talk to Samaja, Samarja. And I'm not too sure that Buster may have said to Jeff that I'm not too sure you want to pitch to this guy. If a manager feels that's the case, I think a guy as experienced as Bochy would say, well, go ahead and walk him. Diaz on deck get into a double play Carpenter they're sick of seeing him he is a career 450 hitter against the Giants yeah that's a leadoff hitter that the Giants may not want to mess with we'll see here's a 1-0 Fastball and a strike. See, sometimes if you're trying to pitch around the guy, the worst thing you can do is throw a strike because then you're committed to try to get him out. Hyundai pitch arsenal, fastball cutter, slider, split finger occasionally, and the occasional curve as well. Two and one. Cardinals come into play having dropped seven of ten. Hitting just 198 in the last 10 games. There's the numbers on Carpenter against the Giants, but the Cardinals only averaging two runs a game in the last 10. Mm. Two and two. Carpenter thought this slider was inside. Close. Long, good speed at second base. The two two pitch to Carpenter. Little bouncer hit to the right side. Joe Panic makes the play, advancing to third. Colton Wong, and it brings in Ledmus Diaz. As Tim mentioned, back in the first, Diaz bounces into the double play, but it was a hard hit ball. Just like his first at bat last night. That's all a manager looks at. Is he is he making solid contact? Right. Or is he getting fooled and striking out a lot? That's not been the case with Diaz. Inside. 
So Samarja comes in with an 11 and 10 record, but he has given them innings, including tonight now 185, six most, uh, most in the National League. Here's a 1 0. Slowly hit, a race to the bag. Samarja is there. Cardinals strand a runner, their first of the night. Midway through three, and we're tied up 1 1. As we move to the bottom of the third, here in San Francisco, the BJC Healthcare Difference Maker, the Cardinals. Well, the ERA has dropped in the middle of the summer. It's risen, though, here in the final couple of months, and the runs per game are down. That's a look at your BJC Healthcare Difference Maker. Jeff Samarja has driven in eight this year, second only to Adam Wainwright. Wainwright with 12. Jeff is hitting 169. Yeah, he has 10 hits, five doubles. What's pretty amazing is that the Giants right now, if the season ended today, they'd be in, they would host the wild card, and yet they only have three wins in series at home in the second half. That's it. They've gone 3 12 and 3 in the series at home here in the second half. Think about that. 3 12 and 3. So it tells you just how good their first half was. Yeah. And it also tells you how poor the second half is. I mean, and what we said the other night in game one, they beat the San Diego Padres nine in a row to start the season. And they lost the next six in a row. To the Padres. How do you figure? What do you see with this team? You know, lack of hitting, bullpen issues. Uh, their offense is, uh, they've got a tired offense. Yeah. With the Cardinals, it's either it seems like a home run or nothing. Absolutely. And it's been that way all year. One ball, one strike on Angel Pagan, lined out to left first time up. Hitting 156 over his last 16. I mean, they're similar teams that have gone poorly in the second half. You know, lack of hitting primarily, lack of uh, runners in scoring position, just paltry for both teams. The 2 1. The Giants with an edge in starting pitching with Bumgarner. And Cueto having a great year, 16 and 5. He won game one on Thursday night. But both bullpens have had problems. Here's a 3 1. Liner that's caught, may have been knuckling a bit there on 
Oledmus Diaz. That's one of those, uh, the ball's on top of you, and whether to jump or not, you don't know how high. And it, about mid jump, you figure, I better get back down. <laughs> get me back down. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Ball well, may have gotten in the lights somewhere. Yeah, or knuckling, as you said, Dan. A strike to Joe Panic. Ioannis Cespedes back at it again. RBI base hit in the eighth, and the Mets have tied it up with Minnesota. 1 1 their score. Earlier in that game, after they had a home run by Rosario to score their first, the Minnesota Twins had runners on at second and third. And Terry Collins, with first base open, elected to pitch to Brian Dozier, who has 41 home runs and certainly rep, uh, represents the biggest threat for the for the twins. He took the first three pitches for balls and then struck out on three straight strikes. Go figure. With the majority of those home runs being hit in the second half, too. Yeah, right. Here's an 0-2 to Panic. Leak will step and throw. Panic twice is grounded out to Mike Leak. We head to the fourth. This all-important game tied up 1-1. to see Fox's new drama pitch on Monday September 19th at 630 Fox 2 and Fox Sports Midwest present a free advanced screening inside ballpark village and after that stick around the Cardinals take on the Rockies from Denver Moss Piscotti Adams for the Cardinals Brandon Moss on a 2 0 pitch his solo home run Back in the first inning to make it one nothing. Giants have tied it up. It's one one. Off speed pitch taken by Moss back in the first and opposite field shot. Be interesting to see what the Cardinals want to do with Brandon Moss. Free agent to be. I think they're going to make it an effort to sign him. Every effort. I would Don't think you? so too. Yeah. 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 Left handed. Too, too many left home field. Too many home runs to let walk. No question. And he could play left right first base. Yeah, sure. Gives you a little flexibility there. Here's a one two and he struck him out for strikeout for Jeff Samarjo.
So Marge has started with the Chicago Cubs then went to Oakland for their stretch run. Then traded to the White Sox and hit free agency and now here with the Giants. Cubs lost today to Milwaukee seven to three. Cubs the epitome of playing with house money. Oh I'd say so. <laughs> A lot of house money. It's sad to hear about the passing of W.P. Kinsella. Canadian author and published more than 30 works including his fantasy novel Shoeless Joe which then was adapted to Field of Dreams the movie How about that good going didn't know that love that movie strike out of Piscotti so two back to back here in any number four right, that old bugaboo strikeouts has gotten Stephen Piscotti. I don't cry very often Tim McCarver but that movie at the end gets me every time. Nothing wrong with that Dan takes a man to admit that he cries. Man. Two outs and Adams hits it out of play even though it is disgusting. To hear that you <laughs> I can't believe you. <laughs> Cut his mic and get out of here. You've I'm been suspended now for the last. <laughs> Out I, of the, the fourth. Wait a minute. I, I did not say as long as I give myself and my team a chance to win. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> Just teasing. <laughs> Tonight to tease. Come on, board this <laughs> evening. Great big league baseball game. And a base hit into center field for Adams. And a two out knock by Adams. Well, he's had a good night. A walk, a single, and also that great double play. Tell you what, it's about as fired up as I've seen him. After that double play, it looked like he may have hurt Mike Leake's hands. Give him a high five. Here's Molina rounded into a fielder's choice. Fastball and a strike. Win tonight or tomorrow, Giants clinch the season series with the Cardinals. So that would guarantee them home field if these two teams would tie. Outside. I think a right handed pitcher that pitches Molina away is really playing in the Yachty's hands. That, uh, that aids and abets that hit to right field. I'm not sure there's a Another player on the roster for the Cardinals that goes to right as well as Yadier no, Molina. I, I, I agree with that. Three and one to count. A gorgeous night here in San Francisco. Man, it is perfect. And it's a two out walk. Second walk that Samarja is allowed. Not even close. And brings in Gridget. Those fastballs and sliders to Molina outside, missing by. Four to six inches. Richick hit into a six four three double play back in the second inning. Yeah. 
So two outs and two on. Have to think that he's going to see slider after slider now after strike one. Just thinking that there's one. No one. Since the uh, All Star break, the Kia in the driver's seat, extra base hits. Cardinals at 202, and Grichik a big reason why. You know, it, it's almost like from a pitcher and catcher standpoint that with Grichik's penchant to swing at so many sliders, you almost Pitch to him like you're pitching around in the count. Because he didn't miss many fastballs. No, he doesn't. I mean, I mean, to me, there is no way that Buster Posey can call for anything other than a slider over the next two pitches. One two pitch. Fastball on the outside corner. He would have gotten me too, I'll tell you. to the bottom of the fourth and we check in again with Jim Dan last night Trevor Rosenthal pitched in his first game since July 24th going one two three in the seventh with a pair of strikeouts he reached ninety nine miles per hour on the radar gun Trevor told me the main thing to him was he is pain free none of that tearing sensation he was feeling the forearm that he was dealing with prior to going on the DL he said it was a good first step Mike Matheny impressed with what he saw he told me I saw some things I hadn't seen all season long. Most of it was the tilt to where he got his body in position. So his arm was over the top and he was throwing downhill. Dan Rosenthal says he is sore today, which isn't unexpected for a guy who hasn't pitched in a long while, but he was very encouraged. Absolutely. Looked good last night, Tim. There's no doubt. Throwing seeds. So the fly out by Buster Posey and now Hunter Pence base hit to center and scored on the double by belt back in the second to tie this game up. Matter of fact Trevor Rosenthal the only thing positive the Cardinals took out of last night's game. Have to think though he's unavailable tonight and that'll be you know something you got to worry about here the next two weeks how much can you use him. If he's effective and bouncing back you know, two days in a row being able to pitch back to back games. Well both teams the Giants and the Cardinals have ample numbers in the bullpen. Said the uh, Giants with 15 pitchers from which to choose. 
The 2 2 to Pence. Cleveland wins in a walk off. One to nothing. Nine pitchers used in that game. Nine pitchers because their starter got hurt. Strikeout of Hunter Pence and the second of the night for Mike Leak. Good slider from Mike Leak. Maybe the best, most effective slider he's thrown tonight. Ball dipping down and away from Pence. So two outs in Erie's belt. That RBI was his 75th. Fourth most walks in the National League, 93. And the most for a giant since Barry Bonds in 2007 had 132. Carpenter giving chase and out of play. Think about this, Dan, and what's disturbing about the Cardinal offense. Brandon Belt has 93 walks, as you said. The Cardinals don't have any player on their roster with more than 48. Mm. Even with Carpenter in the time that he missed. Right. Inside one and two. And there's a saying in baseball from hitting instructors that you hit like you take. I know that sounds strange, but it's relaxed. It's the confidence of taking a pitch instead of being skittish about taking a pitch. It's where your body is, where the bat is as you take a pitch. You see a guy with confidence in how they take a pitch. Yes, no question. Spit at it. Understanding of the strike zone, confidence in where they're at. Mm -hmm. One, two is pulled foul again. Talk about it. You really can't talk about it enough. So much of hitting is pitch selection. Mm -hmm. Whether you get ahead or not. 1 0, 2 0, 3 1 counts. 2 1 as opposed to 0 and 1, 0 and 2. Like Randall Gritchick right now, it seems like he's behind every time he goes out there. And you just have to work your way into getting ahead of the pitcher. It's very difficult, but for big league hitters to hit successfully, that's what they have to do. Two and two the count. Big gap in right center field. And the check swing did not go, says Laz Diaz, the crew chief. Ooh, Leak thought he had strike three. So Belt. 94th walk of the year. Take a look. Chevy Fox tracks. Been so a strike first to, walk allowed. It would have been a strike to Denard Span. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Way things have gone for him. Not the tallest of players. No. 5 8. Strike one on Crawford. Mets and Twins tied 1 1. That's in the top of the ninth. Bruce Bochi, 830 wins now in San Francisco, third all time in club history, just 10 back of Dusty Baker. And no way to catch Frank McGraw. It's 2,583. I don't think he's going to get there. No. I don't think Bruce wants to get there. <laughs> 
At age 130, <laughs> Bruce Bochy <laughs> has set the all-time record. <laughs> Bruce had a health scare earlier this season. Was at a hospital in Miami. Chest pains and issues there. I would imagine these managers by this time of the year and granted I, I know they don't play but they are exhausted. Oh, the, the mental exhaustion of Bruce Bochy contender it's tougher to manage a contender than it is a second division ball club. The 2 2 little broken bat popped up. And Wong is there. So the Giants strand a runner, their second of the night. We head to inning number five, tied in one. Here in this game, top of five, Colton Wong, Mike Leake, and Matt Carpenter for St. Louis. Cardinals about hit the Giants 4-2. A solo home run by Brandon Moss back in the first. Speaking of home runs, Albert Pujols, his 30th hit today. That's the 14th season of at least 30 homers for Albert Pujols. That's elite company now. Hank Aaron, Barry Bonds, A Rod, the only other players to accomplish that feat. Man. He's also closing in on 600 home runs. He's at 590 now. Here's a 1 1. I was just playing with some of the numbers the other day with pool holes. And I did this too when we were in uh, California with the. Uh, with the Angels. He's got about five years if he averages roughly 25 to 30 in that range, give or take a few, to get close to Barry Bonds' all time record. At this point, you know what? I don't count him out for anything. No. Other than his body breaking down. That would be it. That's to a, the count. That is the type swing that you want to take on a 3 1 pitch. Am I wrong, or is Colton Wong putting the bat on his shoulder now? Noticed it today. Yeah, I did too. So that's a third walk by Samarja. 
Reminder that September 30th, kids 15 and younger entering with a ticket receive a growth poster featuring Stephen Piscotti, courtesy of Missouri Farmers Care, and stay in your seats. Fireworks after the game. And that's brought to you by Cooper Tires. Tickets at cardinals.com slash promotions. Reason we observed that was that we have talked all season long for the most part about how Colton holds the bat too low, has too much to do it with the fastball in particular. Noticed it in the first at bat. Yeah, I, does, I did not. It does stand out because mm -hmm. normally it's yeah, you know, basically straight up and low. Right. I think in the long run that's going to help him if he sticks with it. Leak sacrificed his first time up. No need to be too fine with the bun here. I mean, Wong has great speed at first base, and that should be a consideration when someone is trying to get the runner over. How fast is he? There goes Wong. He is running, and the pitch is butted fair, and Posey with the tag. I think Mike Leake acted like the ball may have hit his foot because he didn't run and I think that decoyed Posey maybe. Buster was late in getting to the ball and then thought well I'll just make the tag here. So Mike Leake for the second time in a row sacrifices successfully. Rather odd looking play wasn't it? It was. <laughs> So here is Carpenter. One for two on the night. Base hit to right. Rounded out to second. See Denard Span in center field shading him a little bit the opposite way. We talked about it last night how spacious this ballpark is. You've got to have a speedy center fielder. You've got to have guys that can. That could run out there. Yeah, we talked about it last night. It's a very difficult park for home runs, even with the wind blowing out, but an easy park, relatively speaking, for triples and doubles. 421 to right center. Round ball, belt to Samarja for the out. And Juan is at third. Colton Wong thinking with that wide turn around third. And if there's a momentary bobble at first base by Samarja, why not try to score? Cardinals have to take advantage of every opportunity because their offense is just paltry. No other way to put it. Here's Diaz. He's 0 for 2 tonight. And a breaking ball is taken low. The appeal on the check swing that's Brian Onora at first base. Corey Blazers, the home plate umpire. Doug Eddings at second. Laz Diaz down to third. Here's a 1 0 pitch. Backed up. They take it for a ball, two at nothing to count. You see more backup breaking balls when a pitcher is throwing from the stretch than you do from the windup. Because a, a pitcher needs that front leg, and you don't get the push off of that front leg when you're working from the stretch. So more hanging breaking balls. Diaz yanks it down the left field line and foul. Luke Weaver talked about last night after the air from Yadier Molina. He got mechanically out of whack and he says it wasn't because of the air he said it was because of the grip of the baseball and as Jim Hayes told us going home last night uh, it was cooler in yeah. the third inning in the four pitch walk to open the third 
the 2 1 pitch. Diaz up the middle. Crawford spins, throws. Oh, what a play! Brandon Crawford takes the hit away from Diaz and makes sure that this game stays tied at 1 1. Ball is brought to you by T-Mobile. Jacob DeGrom shut down for the year and he'll have nerve surgery. Carlos Carrasco, big loss for the Indians. He's done for the season. Even though that does say no timetable for return, apparently done for the year. That was just uh, reported here within the last couple of minutes. And Trey Turner for Washington, a couple of home runs and a loss at Atlanta for the Nationals. And the Nationals a number to clinch is still at six depending on what happens with the Mets. I don't know if you folks have followed the young Trey Turner but boy this guy can play half a season up for the Nationals. Line drive into right because Scotty won't get there drops in for a base hit. Eduardo Nunez is aboard and now his speed comes into play. Well Piscotty playing awfully deep in right field in this ballpark even with the wind blowing out as we said earlier. That is normally a ball that Steven would have a play on. New third baseman for the Cardinals, Jed Jerko, that shifts Carpenter over to first and Adams out of the game. And when we get word on what happens with uh, with Adams, we'll pass it along. Here's Denard Span. Lined into a double play into the glove of Adams. Then he dove to the bag at first base to pick up the double play back in inning number two. Nunez is running. Molina from his knees and safe. Stolen base. His tenth as a giant. Thirty-seven overall for Nunez. 10 for the Giants, as you said. 29 for the Twins. Let this guy get away with the talent he's showing. It would have been interesting to see Diaz keep the tag on. Base hit into right. Nunez was running and slid into the bag at third. So he had a head first slide and because of that he's still at third base instead of being in the dugout in the interim span hits a rocket to right field so now runners at the corners and nobody out so Margie up there this will probably be a straight sacrifice but you don't know what the type speed the Giants have at third base now. 
Good speed at first too with Span. Sure. So here we go. Runners at the corners, nobody out in a 1-1 game here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Mets are tied 1-1. That game in the tenth with Minnesota. So Marge squares. And bunts it foul for strike one. His two sacrifices this year. Most descriptive term that I've ever heard about sacrificing is to catch the ball with the bat. Few do it, however. Time called. Nunez, a runner at third base, had to tie his shoe. Back singles here for the Giants. Four hits allowed by Mike Leake. He is walked one, struck out two tonight. High fly ball. Piscotti with the catch. No, no, no. It's Carpenter. Now do they have Span in the rundown? Run does score and that makes it a 2-1 Giants lead. Said no, 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 because Piscotti hits the cutoff man, and that's why you hit the cutoff man. Enticing Span, who was tagging at first base. Piscotti had no chance to get Nunez at home. So it's a really a bad base running play by Denard Span. And the Cardinals will take it. This is why you hit the cutoff man. Dalton Wong abruptly going to first base and he made the tag tracking down Span. The high strike to Angel Pagan. <laughs> Slapped it the other way for a base hit. Third hit in the inning for the Giants. Rather big play hitting the cutoff man by Piscotti. Absolutely. And getting Span in the rundown for a double play, even though the run scored. But the Cardinals holding the damage to a minimum. Brings in Joe Panic, who is over two. Twice he is grounded out to Mike Leak. Academy Sports and Outdoor Leaderboard, lowest percentage of swings that miss. We talked about it in this series. Panic is the toughest to strike out in the major leagues. Now one for his last 19 as he pulls that foul and right through the ball dude. The ball dude had zero chance to make that play. He doesn't have a glove on. Ball was hit hard and he had absolutely no chance. None. With a glove from 1910. He's got to get some new leather. No question. Would have bet my house that was going through his legs. That glove is dangerous. Yeah. Put a glove on that foot. <laughs> Check on Pagan who has 13 steals. Ball and one strike. It's not the ball boy, not the ball girl here in San Francisco. It's the ball dude. Yes.
right to Diaz. He'll step on the bag. So the Giants have the lead. Scoring Nunez to make it a 2-1 San Francisco lead. Congratulate the newest members of the Cardinals Hall of Fame Chris Carpenter Terry Moore Sam Brayden and Joe Torrey Edward Jones the presenting sponsor of the Hall of Fame and the annual induction process that gives fans a voice in recognizing the team's greatest players. It'll be Brandon Moss Stephen Piscotti then Jed Jerko. Cardinals offense probably thinking now my kingdom for a run. My gosh. A solo home run by Moss back in the first to account for the scoring of the Cardinals. Good change up. Strike one. Bottom of the tenth at City Field. Score tied at one. 0 oh, 2 on Moss. So change up at around 85 and then fastball at 96. And Usually, Tim, they say what? About a 10 mile per hour difference with yeah, your change up? About. Depending on arm movement. But it's good to follow a change up with a fastball. And the reason for that is with the changeup, you slow the bat down. So following it with the fastball, the 96 mile an hour fastball seems faster than it normally would. Mentioned some margin, a good fastball. He's had 29 pitches, 95 miles per hour or better. We were talking yesterday with Kruko and Kuiper and the guys that work on the Giants radio and TV broadcast and I think it was you that made the statement you can find guys that throw this hard Nunez makes the play finding guys that can hit the ball hard and out of the ballpark that's the issue power arms are there scouts will tell you that but there are no power bats in college for the most part I mean one occasionally There's not a lot of speed with the high round draft choices now. Speed seems to be out of the game. Yeah. Or at least stolen bases. As Piscotti hits it foul for strike one. 0 for 2 tonight. Rounded out to short and also struck out. Well, base running is marginalized in today's game. I mean, today's game for offenses, it's strikeouts and home runs. So that leaves very little room for good base running.
Here's a 1 1 pitch to Steven Piscotti. Think about it. Strikeouts and home runs. A very little, very few base runners. Right. To go from first to third. Or as we stated earlier, Gown second, nobody out, an unselfish play to move him to third base. Well, we talked about it the other night. There's been a lot of attention paid to the Cardinals and what they've done with runners in scoring position. Numbers have been way down. The bigger picture, though, is the fact that they don't have many opportunities with That's runners right. in scoring position. That's right. And we've whimsically said that, and I'm not too sure it's whimsical anymore, that they're in scoring position at the plate, but not at second base. Yeah. They have a better chance of scoring with, with a guy with the bat in his hand at the plate with nobody on than they do if you put a guy on second. Weird. A 3 2 pitch. Piscotti lines it to Crawford. Brings in Jericho, one of the bright spots offensively for the Cardinals tonight. Matt Adams, who had walked and singled. But he left the game. We don't know why yet. So Jed Jerko goes in that spot in the lineup, took over at third base, shifted Carpenter to first defensively. And two outs and nobody on. First pitch, a strike to Jed. He is now one behind the team leader in home runs, Brandon Moss, was 27, Jerko at 26. Oh and two. And the O oh two. Service members at home and abroad. Beautiful night here in San Francisco. Mike Leake pitching into the sixth. He'll get Buster Posey, Hunter Pence, and Brandon Bell. Posey 0 for 2. Rounded back to Leake and also flied out to center. 
point in recent history, the Giants have been Cardinal killers. Eliminated the Cardinals a couple of postseasons here in the last five years, and this all important series, they've taken the first two games and now lead it 2 1 here in game three. Yeah, they, uh, prior to this, they have not been Cardinal killers to keep the Cardinals out of the postseason, but during the postseason. Diaz to his right, and he makes the play. And in a game that they need a big start from somebody, they're getting it from Mike Leake. He's pitched pretty well. He has. Hunter Pence, space hit, scored on the double by Brandon Belt in the second that tied the game, and he struck out swinging on a 3 2 pitch in the fourth. Takes a ball low. Look at the bat size of Pence. It, it looks small. And Mike Kruko brought us into their booth the other day. Dwayne Kuyper used to collect bats when he played. Not to get signed, but just he always wanted bats of former players that he played with. Right. We picked up a Bobby Bonds bat. Not Barry, but Bobby. Barry's and, father. Right. And it was the heaviest bat you'd ever think you'd ever swung in your life. 36 inches long, 36 ounces. Oh, man. Top heavy, too. Yes. So Pence, his second hit. Here's Belt, double to right center, RBI number 75, and he walked in the fourth. Cardinals may get some activity in their pen. They're not going to let Lee stay, uh, Leak stay out there that long. Hit out of play. Looks like Zach Duke, the left-hander, out there perhaps to pitch to Brandon Crawford if Belt gets on. And if not Crawford, then you're looking at Spann. Right. Crandall's turned a double play back in inning number two. Long way to go for Brandon Moss, and that ball is foul. Stan the man told me one time at this time of the year he would go to a lighter bat. His body was just run down. He was tired. Couldn't swing the normal bat that he had. He'd go to a lighter bat. And he made his major league debut this date in baseball history back in 1951 or 41. Game two of a doubleheader at Sportsman's Park. He went two for four in that game. Had 20 hits down the stretch and hit 426 the rest of the way that year. Number six. On the inside corner. Good pitch from Lee and good call by Molina. Belt hitting everything out away from him, hitting it hard the other way. And they pounded that fastball inside, and there's your man and our man. And everybody's man. Dusek is pictured at a. Uh, there on the left, Stan the man on the right. Also debuts today. This is a pretty famous day. Ernie Banks, Brooks Robinson, and Stan the man all debuted this date in baseball history. Only one said, hey, we say, we say. We say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, good, Tim. Good, 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 good. All right, Stan. All right. Were you just in awe of him when you saw him? Yeah, I mean, who was it? Yeah. I was in awe of his trunk. He brought a trunk to spring training. I had never seen a trunk. I was 18 years old, my first spring training in 1960. And, and Stan opened his trunk. I'd never seen the inside. I didn't, I didn't know what a trunk was. I had this raggedy suitcase <laughs> clothes tied together on a string shoes over my shoulder you can imagine 
I mean my dress shoes, not my right. not my spikes. And he's got a trunk full he's of clothes. He's got a trunk full of clothes. I was enamored with that. And obviously, Stan bought the best clothes. Uh -huh. Byron Buxton, a home run for Minnesota. They are in the 11th, and it's 2-1 now. Twins leading the Mets. The 1-1 pitch to Crawford. 1-2. and two. Leak spot is due up fourth for the Cardinals, looking ahead to the seventh. One ball, two strikes on the Giants shortstop. Pulled foul. Mike Leake trying to come inside to Crawford like he did to Brandon Belt just off the plate. Duke continues to throw in the Cardinals pen. Two balls, two strikes. Crawford in the right, past the diving long, and stopping at second base, Hunter Pence. So he fights it off for a base hit. Brings in Nunez. Community Coffee is offering Cardinals fans the chance to see the Birds take on the Reds. 26 through the 29th. That's for only $5. So $5 tickets available. Cardinals.com slash community coffee to purchase your $5 tickets today. Tell you that base hit by Crawford put all sorts of pressure on Mike Matheny because you've got the right hander Nunez up there he singled scored a run his last time up after stealing second so you can't bring in Duke now obviously fly ball lifted into right going back to Scotty and he's got it so he gave it a ride but the Giants strand two they have left five on leak through six it's two one Giants Two thousand seventeen Mirage and all new Mirage G4 and by USAA insurance banking and investments tailored for the military community.
know if you've noticed this Tim but the uh, kiss cam in San Francisco is more than just a kiss. Well the last one I'll tell you I mean get a room for crying out loud. <laughs> I mean that, that that's the epitome of kiss game. <laughs> what were they doing. Tim just asked somebody for a cigarette. <laughs> Here's Yadier Molina. Molina with a base hit into left center field. That ball will get down. And the tying run is aboard here in the top of the seventh. It's so difficult for Mike Matheny now. I mean, you've got Molina on a one run ball game. You might entertain the thought of putting Hazel Baker as a pinch runner at first base. It's it's a very difficult situation. I'm not saying that's what could be done, but certainly you, certainly you entertain that thought to put speed on the bases. Now it's Gritchick, fifth time this game the leadoff man has gotten aboard for the Cardinals. Boy, that's a point, and they scored one run. You know, Mike usually, not always, but. I'd say probably 90% of the time in a situation like this would not pinch run for Molina, but definitely get your point. Sure. If it's the eighth inning, he probably would. Yeah. Ninth certainly would. But the seventh chance of Molina being up again. And maybe more so to the point if he gets a double, then you'd do it, as opposed to him being at first base. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the Cardinals offense is so poor that you've got to change your thinking. Yeah. One ball and two strikes pitch count at 95 for Samarja left hander starts to throw in the pen for the Giants. The one two. Get out of play. They're in the bottom of the 11th and a 2 1 Minnesota lead over the Mets. Again, the 1 2. Hold foul. You saw Randall Gritchick. Exhaling with thousands of other Cardinal fans doing the same thing. Gateway Honda home run inning. Cardinals hit a home run. Thousand bucks donated to the Make a Wish Foundation. <laughs> two and two. Everything's been away to Gritchick tonight. And that's not going to change unless it's a mistake by Samarja. The 2 2 fouled back. A lot of room on the right side of the infield. They'll shift a little bit here for Gritchick. Hit into a 6 4 3 double play and was called out on strikes. Borderline pitch on the outside corner back in the fourth. Double play. 6 4 3. Third double play turned by the Giants. All six, four, three. Slider from Samarja, and he got what he wanted. Cardinals once again frustrated. 
Zach Duke throwing again in the Cardinals pen. Here's Colton Wong. I wonder as much as Bruce Bochy wants to go to his bullpen it seems like time and again if he thought about bringing in a lefty to face Wong here. Well the left hander just got up in Javier Lopez he's their number one guy that he uses in lefty on lefty situations. Curtis Granderson a home run for the Mets to tie it. <laughs> two two. The 2 0 pitch. Hazel Baker has moved to the on deck circle. 3 0 the count on Wong, who has picked up an infield hit in the third and walked in the fifth. And he walks. Javier Lopez just got up. In the Giants bullpen, however, all he has to do is shake hands and he's ready. And Bochi down there will take the the walk and bring in Lopez, I'm sure, to pitch to Hazel Baker. So Marja strikes out four, he walks four, and allows just five base hits. He had two left handers warming up in the bullpen. How many times do you see that Dan? Where? Yeah. So he's not going to bring in. Javier Lopez but the other left hander. Acquired from the Brewers the trade deadline July 31st in exchange for a right handed minor league pitcher Phil Bickford and Andrew Susak. Those are his combined numbers missed a 52 games and an LCL sprain in his right knee. That happened while tying his shoes. And the reason Will Smith is in there not Javier Lopez is Javier Lopez was warming up. But he is only designed to pitch against left handed hitters. Will Smith, much more effective against right handers like Zach Duke is for the Cardinals. And that's why Will Smith's the pitcher and not Javier Lopez. Hazel Baker was announced as a pinch hitter, then brought back in the Cardinals counter here with Johnny Peralta. Long a runner at first base. First pitch drops in for a strike. One for five, couple of the strikeouts, Peralta against this lefty. All kinds of room in the gap in right center. 
Get a ball in the gap and Wong might score. High fly ball out to right. Pence backing up with room and makes the catch. Cardinal Strand, their fifth runner of the night. Time to stretch. Giants with a 2 1 lead. Number of the great Willie Mays. Most home runs against the Cardinals. Giants all time. Mays, Mel Ott, Willie McCovey, Orlando Cepeda, and Johnny Mize. Happy birthday to Orlando. 79 years young today. In 1963, Dick Grote had told me before the game, Dick Grote was a shortstop for the Cardinals. He said, There are two guys in this league you don't do not call for curveballs against. Willie Mays and Gordy Coleman the first baseman for the Cincinnati Reds that day I called for two curveballs from Bobby Shantz Mays hit both of them out of the ballpark <laughs> a, a day he had three home runs at the original Bush Stadium at Grand and Dodia. yeah so you learned your lesson Dick Grote just hammered me <laughs> after the game I told you there are two guys in this league Against whom Dick went to Duke, so he could talk like that. Against whom you never throw curveballs. Willie Mays and Gordy Coleman. I don't think over a 15 year span or so that I ever call for another curveball. I was traded to the Phillies and didn't call for a curveball. Right? Yeah. Seriously, I mean, it scared me to death. Great Willie Mays. Still seen here at the ballpark. An awful lot. Denard Span and a pinch hitter. And Angel Pagan coming up. Zach Duke is our Chevy call to the pen. Mets tied the game in the 11th with a Granderson home run. And now they have the bases loaded with two outs. We'll keep an eye on that and update you as we go along. Right hander is up and throwing in the Cardinals pin. Foul back by Span. He's lined into a double play and single to right. One two pitch. Alex Reyes will go tomorrow for the Cardinals. Albert Suarez three and three for the Giants. 
on the air at 2.30 St. Louis time. Check swing did not go. Reyes and Suarez coverage at 2.30. Alex back in the starting rotation. The spot that would have been occupied by Jaime Garcia. Struck him out. So Duke picks up the strikeout. Mike Leak 83 pitches tonight in six innings. Two runs on seven hits, struck out three in one walk. Zach went to the breaking ball after all those fastballs in on the fist of Span and got him. Hyundai pitch arsenal, fastball, slider, the cutter, change, and curve. Gorky's Hernandez will be the pinch hitter for Will Smith. So Smith a third of an inning. No damage done. Two on our score here in the bottom of the seventh from AT&T Park. Tim McCriver, Dan McLaughlin with you here in the booth and Jim Hayes is with us as well. Little tapper back out in front of the mound barehanded by Duke and there's two outs. Good play. Only way he gets the swift Gorky's Hernandez is to barehand that ball. Good play by Duke. And almost as as we speak, Dan Javier Lopez gets up in the giant bullpen because that would guarantee them with Carpenter leading off the eighth inning, a lefty on lefty matchup. And that's what uh, Bochi can do with the best of them. The Carpenter, Diaz, and Moss. Looking ahead. Tell you what, quietly, Zach Duke has become a very good pickup for the Cardinals. Yes, he has. He talked about it. He can face lefties and righties. And he's had a good run here wearing the birds on the bat. A strike to Pagan, the switch hitter. One for three tonight. Fly to left. Lined out to short. And a base hit to left field. They're on to the 12th at City Field. Mets did not score. 2-2. Did not go. Crowd tonight. Uh, 41,403. 41403. Another sellout. 480 seconds sellout. Candlestick, we'd go there. You could shoot a cannon through there and not hit somebody. <laughs> Now this is the thing to do in right. San Francisco. It is absolutely. It's a hot ticket. Go to Candlestick and play three game a three game series and not draw 41,000 people. Not even close. <laughs> no. Here's a one two. Two and two the count. Two outs, nobody on. The next two Pagan. Back to Duke. He'll step and throw and makes the play. So one, two, three inning for Zach Duke. Sends us to the eighth. Good ball game. Two one.
here. Both teams watching that game in New York. To further Tim's point about Javier Lopez, who is our Chevy, call to the pen. Lefties are 15 for 71 off of him. Even further, five for the last 42. The righties have reached base in seven of the last 14 plate appearances. So a lot of numbers to throw at you, but bottom line is good against lefties, struggles against the righties. That's right. It'll be interesting if Carpenter can get on leading off the eighth inning. The Cardinals once again have had their leadoff man on five of the seven innings and have scored one run. Sung Wan Oh throwing in the Cardinals pen. Carpenter base hit to right is grounded out to second and grounded out back to the pitcher. Carpenter Diaz and Moss for St. Louis. The Giants carry six left handers in their pen. Bruce Bochy, Tim, if he gets Carpenter here, you got Moss then after Diaz. Would he even allow him to face Diaz or does he go back to his bullpen? I think he faces Diaz. And you know where I'm going there. You got yes. Moss then on deck. Keep that lefty lefty matchup. I think that becomes more paramount than the left hander facing Diaz. But we'll see. Key for the Cardinals get Carpenter on there. Just Ooh. missed. Oh. <laughs> two and two. Oh that was close. Now Lopez has allowed 10 walks to lefties and 71 at bats. He had all of seven for the entire year a year ago. Three and two. Big pitch in this game is right here. Three two. Carpenter. Slowly hit. Crawford. First out here in the top of the eighth. Talk about a shortstop that was cheating on that pitch, and that was Brandon Crawford. I mean, he made that play. He started out about 10 feet on the left side of second and made that play about 20 feet on the right side of second base. Great read by the Giants shortstop. So Lopez. Gets Carpenter and a right hander is coming in now for San Francisco to face Aledmis Diaz.
by Budweiser, not backing down since 1876. This Bud's for you. And by Ford, the official cars and trucks of the St. Louis Cardinals. The Giants bring in Derek Law, right-hander, 6'2", 210-pounder. They love this guy. From Pittsburgh. Went to a Catholic high school in Pittsburgh and then transferred his first year in college to Miami Dade College. And the reason we bring that up, we'll tell you. Reason we bring that up, Steve Carlton went to Miami Dade High School, uh, uh, Miami Dade College, to North Miami. Steve went for a year. So the Hall of Famer, represented by the pitcher Derek Law, here tonight, years later. Diaz with a high fly ball out to right, and the catch is made by Pence. They think that Law is going to be a closer at some point and it may be sooner than later they've had all the issues in the back end of their games take you back to the first inning and this is our Nissan drive of the game Brandon Moss home run number 27 so getting back to the last hitter when you take out Lopez now you've got the right hander facing Moss and Brandon of course homered for the only Cardinal run in this game. Lefties only hitting 164 off of Law. It sounds like a split that he owns. And that was it. Where did that ball dive out of strike zone? Coupled with the fact that uh, Brandon Moss has never faced Law. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Got that funky delivery, almost a quick pitch, too. Something he, he may have picked up from Johnny Cueto. Once it up, gets it there for a ball at 95, 2-2. Two two. That was just a show-me pitch right there, and I, now I think Buster Posey, clearly the guy who controls the count. Call for that splitter again. The 2 2. Moss pulls it foul. Sounded like Brandon broke his bat, but I guess not. But Scotty is on deck if Moss can reach. Cardinals running out of outs. End games. Three balls, two strikes on Moss. One swing could tie it. High fly ball just out to it. right and Pence with room. Well, he just missed that, Dan. Mm.
has a sore wrist. Apparently did it on a slide. Take a look here. So not in this game. The Cardinals turn to Sung Wan Oh. It'll be Panic, Posey, and Pence. Nobody up and throwing in the Giants' pen, so looks like Law has the top of the ninth, at least for the moment. Been a while since we've seen Sun Wang Oh. He was dealing with a sore groin and was unavailable for about three games, maybe four. We saw him last weekend. Popped up. Colton Wong. With MLB.TV Premium. Watch every out of market game live in high definition on more than 400 supported devices and enjoy a free subscription to At Bat Premium. It's a number one app for live baseball. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Visit MLB.TV for details. Tay, the public address announcer up here in the booth just made the announcement of Matt Adams, and he said a strange thing that Matt Adams would be able to play tomorrow. First pitch, long way to go. Off the bat of Posey. Long. It's Piscotti sliding in foul territory to make the catch. What a great play by Piscotti staying with that foul ball. I think the way it was termed is, and he should be fine for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's odd. To leave a ball game like this with a jammed wrist with 15 games left to play, when you're finally given a shot to perform for the Cardinals and playing well, too, might add. Just strange. Two outs, and it brings in Hunter Pence. Pence is two for three with a couple of singles and a run scored. Average right around that 300 mark with his hitting streak that has now reached. 11 games with his two hits tonight. Cardinals have Piscotti, Jerko, and Molina due up in the top of the ninth. The 1 1. Now 1 and 2. I think the respect that O has earned from his Cardinal teammates is enormous this year. A guy who would pitch every day if he, if he had to. He has said that. He said, I don't need to be rested. I want to pitch every day. Give me the ball. He's been good. And too. He's backed it up. 2 2. <laughs> 3 2 pitch to Hunter Pence. Got him to reach. Ground ball. Taken there by Diaz. Nice play. So we head to the ninth. Game three, 2 1 Giants. Piscotti, Jerko Molina coming up.
This copyrighted telecast presented by the authority of the Cardinals and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the content descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the St. Louis Cardinals. Curtis Granderson, not one, but two home runs for the Mets. Two solo shots, one to tie, one to win it. Wow. Piscotti against Sergio Romo. And when he's right, one of the nastiest sliders in the game. It's a Chevy call to the pen. When he's right, that's all he throws, Dan. Yeah. Occasionally a fastball, but rarely for a strike. That was one, but off the plate inside, and that everything he does sets up the slider. You watch this baby move, it's like a frisbee. Yeah, yeah. The Cardinals cannot come back and win this game. They would be three back of New York with 14 to play. The 2 2. Biscotti off the end of the bat, out to shallow left. And the catch is made by Brandon Crawford. What a play. Hard to believe that Angel Pagan didn't, no doubt. didn't call Crawford off that ball. Pagan cautious. Crawford for the Giants wasn't. Fine play. By a very good player. Jed Jerko. Struck out back in the sixth. In the spot that was occupied by Adams. One out and nobody on. Strike one. The Cardinals jumped out to a 1-0 lead on a Brandon Moss home run. And the Giants scored two. And that's a base hit. Tying run comes to first base. Go ahead, run at the plate. Another slider. Watch where this pitch is. This terrific hitting by Jed Jerko. Staying with it. And now pinch runner for the Cardinals. It looks like Bruce Bochy will make a move here as well. Yeah.
to the pen with eight blown saves this year second most in the majors and the most in the National League Tommy Pham the pinch runner at first base first pitch to Molina Dan the one thing you think about right now with the outfield and no doubles defense that's when you think about going from first to third on a base hit to the outfield. That's what Tommy Pham's got to be thinking now because your outfield's deeper than it normally would be for Molina. The 1 0. Casilla with 31 saves overall, six most in the National League. In his last 11 games, though, he's allowed four home runs, three blown saves. You can hear the fans' reaction to Bruce Bochy bringing in Casilla. Yes. Trepidation. Some not wanting to see him. You know, I think Bochi is relying on giving the offense a different look with all these guys. He's replacing a right hander for a right hander, but it's a different look right hander. One and two. Cardinals have grounded into three double plays. In this game tonight, that is of concern from the Cardinals' perspective as well. Fam is running. Throw down to second, and he is safe. Huge stolen base for Tommy Pham. I got to believe he ran on his own, thinking that Casilla was going to throw another slider to Molina. Mike Matheny, perhaps thinking like a catcher then. <laughs> you know, yeah. what pitch do you throw? Casilla with the herky jerky motion and a huge, as you said, Dan, stolen base by Pham. Base hit ties this game more than likely because of what you talked about. Yeah, and now the giant outfield is playing. They're not playing the no doubles defense anymore because it's the base hit that's going to beat them or tie them in this particular instance. And Molina does not have double power. More inclined to hit a ball in front of an outfielder than behind him. The 2 2 pitch. Ooh, Posey wanted that one with his reaction. Doesn't get the call, three and two. Kevin Seeger is throwing in the Cardinals' pen. Three two pitch Molina little flare foul. I think Yachty knew that two two pitch was close but it was outside. He didn't want the second look by home plate umpire Corey Blazer to ring him up. So even though it was outside. Don't depend on the umpire for help. Smith. Lopez, Law, Romo, and now Casilla. After six and two thirds from Jeff Samarja. See him feeling for the bat. He hit it off the end of the bat and just wondered if he had a little stinger there. Yeah, he did. No stingers when you're in a race in September. 
3-2 pitch, and he walked him. The pressure mounts on the shoulders here of Santiago Casilla. And Randall Britchick once again is grounded into two double plays, both 6-4-3 variety. Jose Martinez now will be a pinch runner for Yadier Molina. Hunter Strickland now starts to throw in the Giants pen. Gonna erase those double plays with a hit here. Opportunity continues to present itself. First pitch to Gritchick. If you're Randall, he might be thinking, thank you very much. I needed something to wake me up. I'm not kidding you. No, nothing like a little chin music to get you straight. Just looking down at the uh, Giants dugout, Bruce Bochy was pacing back and forth after that pitch. Here comes a 1 0. One ball and one strike. Now Reynolds, a lefty, will start to throw as well. The 1 1 inside. You have to think Reynolds getting loose in a hurry, potentially for Colton Wong, certainly for Carpenter. Now it's for Colton Wong, you're right the first time. Reynolds in last night's game is the last pitcher for the Giants. The 2 1 pitch. Richard up the middle, base hit! This game is tied! Fam will score and Randall Gritchick comes through! 2-2! Two -two. Look at that Cardinal dugout. Look at it. One of the biggest hits of the year. Towards short. Remember, he's hitting the two, six, four, three double plays. This ball stays down. Pham scores. Not only that, but Martinez goes to third. That's a huge play for the Cardinals. <laughs> Runners at first and third, and now Bruce Bochy pops out of the dugout. You want to hear some boos, you're about to get them right now. Casilla, the walk to Molina. And the RBI base hit for Gritchick. That's our Chevy call to the pen.
first pitch by Casilla right at his head. And believe me, sometimes that's what you need. And you never know. But Randall Gritchick delivers. So whether he needed it or not, the base hit huge to tie the ball game. He's at first. Martinez, a great base running play at third. And now Bochi brings the infield in as he stays on the mound to tell the infielders what they're going to do. Don't play double play depth. Wong is too fast. First pitch by Wong. Foul back. We know there's a lot going on. We're trying to keep you abreast as much as we can. Do you think about the safety squeeze? We talked about it a bit at the break, Danny. I don't think it's out of the question, no. One ball and one strike. Thing about a safety squeeze, you have an inexperienced runner at third base. That would be against the Cardinals doing that. Wong into center. The catch is made. Here comes a throw. The 15 hopper towards the plate, and Martinez scores, and the Cardinals go on top. 3-2 here in the ninth. The Cardinals had nothing going in this inning. It started with Sergio Romo. Piscotti popped out. And then the base hit by Jed Jerko. A walk. Single. And now the sack fly and RBI to drive in Martinez. And Martinez going to third base. Huge. Not, no, I'll guarantee you that was a huge play. That set it up for Wong and the Cardinals for the second time in this game take the lead by one. So Sung Wan Oh, who had a very short eighth inning, will pinch, uh, will pit, uh, hit for himself and pitch in the bottom of the ninth. He had a nine pitch eighth inning. It's his first at bat of the of the season for O. Oh. He's not up there to hit. He's up there to pitch. Don't take a chance with the groin either. Just just no, stand there. That's right. The Cardinals with two runs. Not a bad thought to try to steal here. Because if they do, if they if the Giants do tie it, then the Cardinals are going to have the pitcher spot to hit anyway. Right. So it's really not a bad play to try to steal right here. Good point. And that is into center field. That's even better. Gritchick to third and safe. Great point, Tim. And normally you wouldn't do that because the pitcher would be leading off the next inning. Well, there's no chance because the Cardinals are hopeful that there'll be no next inning. Throw from Posey is high, a throwing error. And Gritchick will go to third and be alive just in case. Great it's a point. wild pitch or a pass ball. Stranger things have happened. That's right. And oh, is swinging. And he swung at a ball, of course. <laughs> Randall Gritchick comes through. One of the biggest hits of the year. That tied it. Long has put the Cardinals on top.
drive to center that scored Martinez. This is how it unfolded. That hit up the middle, just past Crawford to score Tommy Pham. And then Wong, the liner, and Span, the throw that wasn't even close. Cardinals have gone on top 3 2. Sung Wan Oh will pitch in his second inning. It'll be Belt, Crawford, and Nunez. First pitch to Belt. He's taken for a bowl. Matt Carpenter is at third base now, going back to where he started this game. Brandon Moss is at first base, and Tommy Pham stays in the game in left field. One ball and one strike. Belt the double. Got the Giants on the board back in the second. He has walked and struck out. Good off speed pitch by O. That was a change up and a beauty right there. Good location, low and away. And the one two. Ground ball hit to the right side. There's Colton Wong. There's your first out. I can't remember O oh, using that changeup twice to one batter, particularly back to back like he did then. But th those are quality changeups, those last two pitches to Brandon Belt, heading way out in front. Here's Crawford, one for three. Base hit back in the sixth. Fastball and a strike. What's at stake? The Cardinals hold on. They would be two back of both San Francisco and New York. The Mets have posted a victory. Giants would be tied with the Mets. Diving stop by Carpenter gets up, robs Crawford. Two down. Positioned for the bunt, he's in and he's over for the ground ball. Positioned perfectly to get Crawford. Don't point at anybody else, Matt. That was you who did that. <laughs> That finger belongs to you. <laughs> Good play. <laughs> so two outs. And here is Nunez. First pitch, take it for a strike. Catcher, by the way, is Carson Kelly. Remember, Molina was pinch run for, so Kelly, the rookie, into the game. Huge, huge out here. Because if he gets on, you know he's going to run against the young catcher yes. behind the plate. And the Cardinals one strike away. The 0 2. Powell back. And the issues in the back end of the bullpen continue for the Giants. And the Cardinals would put themselves two back of both New York and San Francisco. One strike away. The 0 2 round ball pass. Oh, right over his glove, it looked like. As he kicks out the dirt. Nunez has already stolen one tonight. That is his third time he's been on base. He's asking for his runner's glove. That's right, folks. I'm not making it up. He will get a runner's glove to put on his left hand. How did O miss that? I don't know. Didn't have his runner's glove on. on <laughs> 
So here's the scenario that you talked about Nunez runner at first and the rookie behind the plate and Carson Kelly. I would not pitch out here. I think you waste the pitch. I think you go after the hitter. He's going to steal. He's going to steal. Denied span at the plate. Base hit to right in the fifth. Lined into a double play in the second and struck out. One for three. Richard in center, shading him into left center field. And Span looking back at the home plate umpire. One ball, one strike. Span thought it was inside. Cardinals got the call. Here's a 1 1. Base hit into center. And the tie run now in scoring position. Interesting situation on the bases. Of course, you got a left handed hitter up, so it's going to be if Nunez decides to steal third, the catcher has a clearer shot. You don't have the right handed batter up there. So I think I think it would be very dangerous for Nunez with two outs to try to steal third in this situation. When a hit would tie it for the Giants. The pinch hitter would be Connor Gillespie. You know Dan I think that's what Derek Lilliquist is going to tell. Oh and Carson Kelly right here. Forget about the pitch out. Forget about the guy on second base. Get the hitter. Turning to Carson Kelly and made sure that Kelly understood everything. Sung Wano, if you're wondering, has pitched multiple innings nine times this year, and only once is he allowed to run. That was the walk off back in early August. Scott Shebler hit against O and the Reds won that game. Connor Gillespie, 247. A base hit could tie it. Good speed out there with Span and Nunez. First pitch is popped up. This should do it. Wong under it. The Cardinals win it. They take game three in dramatic fashion. The final of three to two. Our Budweiser player of the game is Colton Wong with his RBI in the ninth. A couple of walks and what a win. Partner, that was exciting. Oh, that was great. Nice going. A lot of fun. It's playoff type baseball from here on out. Absolutely. The Cardinals come back in the ninth. And they win it by the final of three to two. Lots to get to in the post game show. It's next.